Susie, nice to meet you, Susie. How old are you? I'm eight years old, and this is my birthday month. Oh, wow. What day is your birthday? It's the 24th. The 24th. Well, can I tell you something interesting? Uh-huh. My birthday is also on the 24th. Wow. That's interesting for you to tell me. Yeah, except... Yeah, except it is next month. So you're the 24th of July. I am the 24th of next month. What is next month's name? Hmm. Well, let me let me guess because I can't remember all the months, and I'm sometimes really forgetful. That's okay. So next month will be August. Now, you have a guess, and I'll tell you if you're right. Okay. Well done. Yeah, I think that may have been an educated guess. Did you look it up online? No, I look it on the calendar. No. You looked at, at on the calendar, okay. Uh -huh. Wow, and you speak English so well, Susie. That's great. Mm -hmm. Are you on summer vacation at the moment? Well, it's summer vacation for me now. Okay, and what have you been up to in your summer vacation? Well, I, I, well, I guess almost all day, day I played. Well, firstly, I went to Dana, and I get to hold a kitten. Oh, wow. Is that your kitten, or is it somebody else's kitten? Well, that's my aunt's kitten. Your she, aunt's kitten, okay. Yeah. They are really cute. I'm sure. I never used to like cats. But then I started dating my wife and I started to like cats. And now we have a cat staying with us. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. So maybe if she feels like it, she might come into my office while we speak. And she might come and say hello. <laughs> but I don't know because she's a very lazy cat. And she sleeps all day. Wow, that's not a good cat. Nah. But I guess that's what cats do. Cats just sleep all day. Yeah, but my aunt's cat don't sleep. They play all day. Oh, that's good. How old is the cat, though? Well, I don't know, but he is quite cute and quite small. Yeah, I think all cats are like that. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have fur. He doesn't have fur, no fur at all. Well, just a little fur. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is he supposed to be that way? Or did something bad happen to him? Well, he's did he supposed, have a disease? Well, he is supposed to be that way because he's the type of cat. Oh. Well, can you open oh, the... Oh, hairless cat. Well, can... May I ask you a favor? What's your... What do you want to ask? Well, can you open the chat? And I set a link there, there. So, can you teach me about that? Okay, let's see how it goes. Public holiday in South Korea. Is that where you live? Do you live in South Korea? No, I live in Vietnam. Okay. Well, let's learn about South Korea together. Wow! Here we go. Oh, South Korea. I never heard okay. of that. Okay. Well, it's a lot closer to you well, than it is to me. Well, can you make the screen a little bigger? Okay, let's try. How's that? Okay, that's better. Thank you so much. Okay. So, a public holiday are you going to be able to read for me? Because there's a lot of reading in English today. Wow, yes, I could read. Okay, so can you tell me what is a public holiday? There's a little explanation at the top. What is a public holiday? Well, you mean at the bottom? A public... Well, it's... Yes, you're reading... You're reading that, please. 
Okay, a public holiday is a day when people are all over the country do not need to go to school or work. On a pub, on a public holiday, we can play or rest. Okay, so we know what a public holiday is now. I want you to think about your favorite holiday. Oh, my favorite. And we're going to make some notes together. We're going to talk about it. Oh. Okay, so don't tell me anything about the holiday. Just mm -hmm. think about it, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay. Okay. Well, I already know. All right. Okay. Well, then you can tell me what is the name of the holiday. Well, the name of the holiday day is is going to that now. Okay. And what is the date of the holiday? When does the holiday happen every year? Well, that holiday happens only once because my family goes everywhere where because they gather all their money and then we travel a lot lot in our car so so that's that's the problem. A problem that is our car is too small. Oh no. So we have to Okay, but where do you travel to, Susie? Mm-hmm. Well, I I travel to, to well this place is really impressive because I travel to a place that is will impress you. I travel to a mountain. Wow. What was the mountain like? Oh mountain the mountain is called is called Tandai Mountain. Okay. That's the famous. And can you? And did you it's a famous mountain in Vietnam. Okay. Yes, I love. Oh, lovely. Well, did you know in that mountain? Firstly, I get to go to see a dinosaur park. Well, and did you know the dinosaur moves? Oh, you know what? I've been to a museum when the dinosaur moved. That was many years ago when I was a kid. Well, that's not a park. Well, that's not a museum, but that's a park. Okay, so what kind of dinosaurs were at the park? Well, there are um, well, there are lots of kind of dinosaurs like a pterodactyl, though, and I get to wow. ride, well, I get to ride on the brontosaurus, and it moves, and it's move, and it's growl like a real one. Okay, well, that's really cool. That's definitely something I didn't do when it was in my city. It was just a dinosaur that moved its head up and down. <laughs> well, well, that dinosaur has another dinosaur scratching its back because that's the pattern, that's, that's the enemy. Okay. And I get to climb. All right. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the season for the holiday. That's my favorite one. Okay. All right. Well, I think you've already answered all of these questions, Susie. So let's keep going. Okay. I want you to tell me what is your favorite public holiday. Let so me... remember, a public holiday isn't just one for you and your family. It's one that everybody in your country enjoys. Well, I think well last well last time when we have finished our trip to Danang and I went back to my usual usual life, then my then my dad friend came and we travel, then we travel and play again. Okay, and what day of the week is best for a public holiday? Well, if you had to choose to have a day off, when would you put it in the week? Hmm. Let me think. Well, I well that's that was that was um well I think the um, the week before this week I guess. Well, yes, I think so because I can't remember. Well, that's okay. But what I mean is, if you could choose a day of the week. To have a public holiday, Monday to Friday, mm. when would you want it? 
Well, for example, Friday. I would like it on either Monday or a Friday. So well, that, yeah, why do you want it on a Friday? Well, Friday is the day that I go to Da Nang, and also when I come home, it's already Tuesday, and and tomorrow my my dad's friend came came, and we went to my to my uncle's place to play to play there, and then we had so much fun, and I get to make friends when with my dad when my dad's friend children, so we have a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. And do you think you're going to see these friends soon? Well, I, well, I don't know. Oh, good. And do you like, like public holidays, Susie? Yes, because I get to bring my books and write letters to my friends far, far, far away. Oh, that's very nice. And what books do you bring with you? Storybooks? Activity books? No, I bring myself um, my favorite story, Puss in Boots, my favorite. Okay, and have you seen the Puss in Boots movies? Well, yeah, I I watch it in theater, theaters, and do you know, the Puss in Boots fights a lot. That's what I hear. I haven't seen the new one though, but I hear it's really good. You think well, I should watch it? Well, I watched it once, and it was great. Great when I come out. I was imagining myself, and it was a great time. Oh, brilliant. Sounds great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Public holidays in South Korea. All right, so we've got quite a lot of reading to get through, mm -hmm. but I know you can do it. Yeah. Are you ready to read for me, Susie? Okay. <laughs> Public holidays in South Korea. People always hope that pub public holidays are on which day. This is because they can get an itch. Oh, it's child days of work or school. M many people feel that South Korea needs more public holidays. Then, then should the governor allow more pu public holidays? Some, some say. Okay. That. Before we go any further, Susie, I'd like us to read those last two sentences again. I'll read them for you uh -huh. and then you can repeat them. Mm -hmm. Many people feel that South Korea needs more public holidays. Then, should the government allow more public holidays? Oh. Can you repeat that for me, please? Okay. Many, many people feel that South Korea needs more public holidays. Then, should the governor allow more public holidays? Very good. So on to the next one is, some said that South Korea needs more public holidays. First, South Korea works very long hours and have very short vacations. People in other countries work less and rest more. It is time for South Korea to rest longer. Second, South Korea needs more time to remember important events in their history. For example, South Korea make more important laws in, in 1948. The South Korea people should remember such events. Good. Other, other di disagree. First, on a pop on a public holiday, people do not work. This means that few few fewer things are made and sold. Then. 
com companies may let their workers go. In, in other words, many people may lose their jobs. Second, on public holidays, people just waste their time. Most people just sleep, watch TV and television, and eat too much. South Korea should work and study harder without wasting their time. Okay. So that is the end. Are you ready to answer some questions about it? Yeah, I love reading a lot. Good. So, what, why do people hope that a public holiday is on a weekday? Hmm. Why do you think people hope for that? I think so because people work more often on weekdays days and and also and also I study more often even on Sunday or Saturday I get more more attention from my parents go more places and also go opening doors days too too and I get to to go anywhere I want because it's Sunday and Saturday so and so my parents don't mind taking me there Why do South Koreans need more public holidays? Because they, South Korea, works longer hours and work harder. Yeah. Mm. And what kinds of events should people remember from the past? Well, uh, all kinds of events went in well they make great great laws in the 1948 I think and those events must be remembered yeah, yeah. Mm. and why is it a problem for South Korea if people do not work on a public holiday why could that be a bad thing? Hmm. Let me think. Well, well, if if they do not work on public holidays, they will just waste around around wasting their time, like sleeping, watching television, and eating more. On public holidays. On public holidays. Well, they spend well they spend their public holidays doing waste waste their times like watching TV, playing playing video games, or or just like like sleeping more, just like my brother, or eating more often, or playing. It's a waste of time. Yeah, well, I guess if you enjoy it, is it a waste of time? Well, I enjoy playing a lot, but I miss my room and my books. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do a vocabulary check. Mm -hmm. We've got five words here, and I want you to match them all to the correct sentence. Do you think you can do that for me? But I can't match. Yeah. Why can't you match it? You don't need to match it with a line. You can just tell me okay. where the word goes. Okay. You can have a... Which word do you think it is, Susie? Mm. I think we can have a weekend piece of bread. What does that mean? Anyways. Well, you're going to have to tell me because I don't know what a weekday piece of bread is. 
Wow. Think about it this way, Susie. Think about it this way. If you've got a piece of bread and your mom and your dad gives you another piece of bread, Oh, what I don't know. That. Piece of bread <laughs> you can have a weekday day piece of bread means it's an easy day for for a weekday. Well, not for me. No, the correct answer is you can have an extra, an extra piece of bread. You can <laughs> have one more piece of bread. Well, okay. If you we insist. wouldn't say you can have a weekday piece of bread. Well, okay. If you insist. Okay. I do say so. Number two. Scientists. Can you answer number two for me, Susie? Scientists. 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 Let me think. Hmm. Scientists disagree about the beginning of life. Huh. Very That's good. That's strange. Yeah, they disagree. Some of them say it is one way, other people say it is the other. Okay. So Number nice. three. Okay. Public transport. Trans tra transport means buses, trains, and airplanes. Can you say that for me again, Susie? Okay. Public transport state transport means buses, trains, and airplanes. Very good. And let's do number four and five. Okay. Hmm. Let's take. Day. We are already have well a week, done. A weekday again? Yeah, number four is weekday. Number five? Okay, her birth is a, an important event for everyone. Oh, I mean everybody. Everybody, yeah. Well done. Okay, now let's have more of a discussion. We've still got plenty of time, Susan. Susie. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me about your opinion. I want you to tell me what you think about these questions. Uh -huh. What do you think? More public holidays will help workers to become healthy. Now, they would just voice around and just like, for example, that we watch TV so much that will make our eyesight go, go, um, go not really good, so we have to wear glasses, so when we go back to work, work that won't be healthy for us. Mm. Well, I think you might change your mind after okay. this next question. Mm-hmm. School children do not need more public holidays. Well, do you they... think you need more public holidays or not? Well, I think, well, not too much. Not too much public holidays because those days we just, I just study, 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 study. But well, it sounds like you need some more public holidays. Well, everyone do needs less more public holidays because because they at school they always fight around. In my class, sometimes it's the top, sometimes it's the lowest class. Okay. And what about number three? Families will be happier 
when they're on more public holidays. Do you think that's true or not? Well, I think that's true. True, but not for my family. I like spending time with not them and going more, more public holidays, but my brother don't. Okay. And but don't you think your family would like some more public holidays to spend time together? Well, don't. And well, don't ask about my brother. He could stay home and see him as he wants because he always stays home. Okay. All right, and we've got one more. Mm -hmm. Public holidays are bad for companies. You well, think public holidays are bad for companies? Well, them? not too bad. Well, some of the companies may, may have public holidays but not too long long so they will go to work soon soon so they could they could do other important works okay mm -hmm. right so let's see what else is here okay well we're not going to worry about these Instead, I'm going to end this because we're officially at the end of this lesson. Well, but we've still got a bit of time left. Well, thank goodness. Um, Is there anything else you'd like to talk about, Susie? Well, thank, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Why thank goodness? Thank goodness because it's almost over for me to go to the bathroom. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, if you would like, Susie, we can end the class here and you can go to the bathroom if you really need to. Mm-hmm. Says. Would you like to end the class here? Well, well, I might ask you that. Would you like to end it? Well, we can end it. It's up to you. You're the student. Well, I want to ask you a question that... How old are you anyways? I am 29 years old. Wow! You are younger than my mum. Okay. Well, how old is your mom? Thirty-six. Okay. My mom. Oh, that's good. Well, my daddy is forty-three now. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Well, luckily for I'm you. I'm sure they are both still very young. Well, luckily for you, you're still young. Well, have you ever heard that expression, age is nothing but a number? No. Well, it just means that it doesn't matter how old you are, what your age is, you mm -hmm. are as old as you want to feel. So even if you're really old, if you're 80 or 90 years old, yeah. you can still feel young. Well, because who says that you have to be old well, you because can... you're a certain age? Well, talking about that, come, well, you could ask me about my brother now because he's almost seven, seven ages away. Well, seven ages away. Okay, well, that's good that he can still be young. Uh, 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 not so fast. Not so fast because... Well, I think our time is almost up, Susie. So, oh. do you have anything else that you'd like to ask me? Well, nothing. We, I have a lot of fun, and now I have to attend another class. Okay. Okay. Well done, Susie. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.